with Jim Spencer. Showers were kind of all around Austin today. Didn't pick up anything at uh, Camp Maybe. Not that we needed a foot of rain uh, this month of September. 13 days into the month, out at the airport, did get a trace today. We have a one foot surplus for 2010. Incredible. Uh, the lakes have pretty much uh, evened out now. They're not going much higher, but Cannon didn't hardly get any runoff anyway from last week's flooding rainfall because the flooding rainfall fell below Lake Big Cannon. Uh, Lake Travis, though, has come up uh, six feet. Uh, since the rain started last week. Now seven feet above average, but again, it's kind of leveled off, not going any higher due to the uh, rain from uh, last week. 93 the high today at Maybury, 94 degrees at ABI. Still feels like summer mornings, too, are above average even for uh, late summer. Tonight's skies are partly cloudy and the temperature at 82 degrees. It's warm, it's humid. By the time you wake up in the morning, 76, noon, 88. And our 5 p.m. forecast, 95 degrees, partly cloudy. Well, maybe an isolated shower. Don't think we'll see as many scattered showers as we saw around the area today. Upper 70s and low 80s right now. Officially in Austin, it is partly cloudy in 82. At the airport, it is partly cloudy in 81. 77% relative humidity, though, making it feel a little warmer. No wind stirring out there tonight either at all. A mole count today, it's going to be high for a while because of the rain. Over 2,200 fall elm and ragweed medium. Our allergy forecast for tomorrow, mole could even go a little higher. Around Texas tonight, it's pretty warm and muggy uh, statewide. Some 60s up there in the panhandle at Amarillo due to some rain in that area. There's a strong area of high pressure over the southeastern United States, and that's resulted in uh, somewhat of a deep flow off the Gulf of Mexico uh, here into central Texas. My computer is going crazy tonight. Uh, the moist flow off the Gulf combined with the heat of the day generating the showers that we saw in the area uh, this afternoon. Notice how they're all gone now because the sun is down. Could we see a repeat tomorrow? Yes, but we think it'll be more isolated activity tomorrow, less than a 20% chance. And then day after tomorrow, and for most of the rest of the week, not much chance of rain, just very summer-like. Until this weekend. And why this weekend? Well, there is a disturbance right now, very unorganized here west of Jamaica. And this thing is running out of time as it heads westward toward the Yucatan Peninsula to develop into anything. But the National Hurricane Center does say it could become a tropical depression or a tropical storm here over the next 48 hours. However... After it crosses the Yucatan, we have three computer models tonight that turn it into a hurricane in the southern Gulf of Mexico. One model brings it right up toward Brownsville, kind of like Hermine attracted last week. I don't think that's real likely, but what will likely happen is that it will throw up some throw up. It will push up some moisture our direction. <laughs> Felt like that storm was throwing up rain last week uh, into central Texas and give us a decent chance of showers as we go into uh, the coming weekend. 20% now. There's Igor. This thing is incredible. Category 4 today, the winds on Igor were gusting over 185 miles per hour. Uh, tonight, gusting over 165. The good news is it should weaken. Still could be a major hurricane, though, or very near a major hurricane as it approaches Bermuda by the weekend. Probably not going to hit the eastern U.S. Neither will Julia. Uh, Julia will track out here in the, to the northwest, then and turn up toward uh, Newfoundland. Tonight, uh, back here at home, uh, mid-70s, uh, high temperatures tomorrow, low to mid-90s. It'll feel above 100. 76 tonight, some low clouds coming in. Let's go 95 tomorrow. Could we see an afternoon shower flare up? Yes. Is it likely where you are? No. Probability, 10% tomorrow. Wednesday, Thursday, uh, it looks like July. Uh, Friday, we'll begin to see that tropical moisture surge in from the Gulf with a 20% chance from Friday all the way to Monday. Tomorrow morning, weather and traffic together, of course, every 10 minutes, beginning at 5.